everyone, welcome to Creator Spotlight. On this episode, we're talking to Ryan Robinson, who is the creator of the blog ryrob.com, which has over 500,000 monthly readers. We're gonna talk about the five best ways to promote a blog. Hey Ryan, welcome to the show. So I wanted to ask you a few questions to get your advice on the top five tips you have for someone to promote their own blog. Yeah, I mean, I'll be the first to tell you that this is always changing and I'm always figuring out new things and making tweaks to what is currently working too. But I think number one by far has to be getting your content and technical best practices down straight. So everything from making sure you're writing headlines that are going to be catchy for people to making sure the URL for your blog posts is something that's descriptive of the topic you're covering, um, using the right kind of header format throughout your blog, um, getting those kind of on-page factors dialed in correctly for what your users are searching for, matching the intent of real people out there is super, super important. That's by far the foundation you just kind of have to do no matter what. And Beyond that, number two, I find the most impactful is guest blogging. So reaching out to other websites that are in your niche or publications as your brand grows and you're able to get kind of bigger people on board for promoting your content, reach out and pitch them on hosting a guest blog post for you. And that's a great way to not only provide free content to the website you're reaching out to, but provide free value to their readers and you also benefit by getting spikes in traffic back to your site where you get these really highly targeted people that you can now build relationships with. Number three, video. You cannot sleep on platforms like YouTube. I'm getting so much engagement from my audience in ways that I never really was able to reach them and connect with them before. There's so much more that you can communicate and people will also feel through something like a video versus just written content. So I think it's really important to kind of vary the content formats that you're publishing and definitely get into things like TikTok, IG Reels. And I see that trend only picking up pace as things go forward. Tip number four, social media. The real answer here is that there's no bad social media platform that you can be on except for the ones where your audience isn't spending time. So Take real inventory of who your audience is and ask real people, don't just make assumptions, ask them where they spend their time online. Maybe that's Facebook, maybe it's LinkedIn, Twitter. Um, there's tons of different categories of people that like to allocate their time on different types of social platforms. And if you're shouting out into a void about your content topics on those platforms, then you're kind of wasting your time. So make sure you're reaching the right people. Number five, forums. Online forums like Quora, Growth hackers if you're in marketing, product hunt if you're more tech focused, those are great places to interact with your audience in ways where they're super, super engaged already. Lots of people that spend times on these forum sites, um, they're really hyper engaged with everything that's going on, discussions, maybe answering a Q&A series or figuring out how to do something like an AMA even on Reddit can be hugely influential in getting people to not only just hear about you for the first time, but actually get interested and click through and come check out your blog. So that's definitely an awesome uh, awesome list I can add to my, my theoretical creator toolkit. And hopefully if you're out there, you can do the same. From your experience, what tools can you recommend for blog promotion? I think number one has got to be Google Analytics and Search Console because, I mean, I spend every day I'm in those tools because I want to know what's working already and I want to double down on those traffic sources that are bringing me my audience today. A general lesson is that once you figure out a traffic source that is working for you to promote your content, don't give up on that. I recommend going all in as much as you can until you've kind of exhausted, you know, let's say that resource. And Beyond just analytics and search console, something like Yoast SEO, if you're on WordPress, that's a free plugin to use that will help just make sure you're getting all of your best practices dialed in with your content. And another tool I use a ton for things like keyword research, SEM Rush, where they'll give you real insights as to whether or not people are searching for the kinds of answers you want to write about for your site. Thanks for being on the show, Ryan. It's been an absolute pleasure. I learned a ton of new things about blogging and about creating courses. And I hope if you're out there watching our show, you did as well.